Hey students, today we're going to do a tour of Google Classroom. So this is helpful for parents or students that are wondering how to organize and use Google Classroom effectively. So we'll start here from the main Google page. Um, when you fire up your computer, you'll see our landing, landing page pop up and you can hit Google Drive. That'd be the easiest way to get to where you need to go. So as I said before, in Google you have um, roadmaps. You have this roadmap, the app icon, you have the three dots, and then you also have a three line map, which we'll see when we get into Google Classroom. So if you're ever curious about where you need to go, where you need to be, look for one of the three roadmaps. So I want to find Google Classroom. So I'm going to click on the roadmap and there it is. So when I open up Google Classroom, all my classes are going to show up. All right, so you'll see all your classes on this screen. Click on the class that you're, you're going to that day. So um, this is what will pop up at first, the stream. This is sort of the chat board of the class. Um, you can get an overview of maybe the recent stuff the teacher has posted, but I don't find the stream overly helpful um, for day-to-day -day use. Um, a few things though about this main page. You can see your upcoming assignments if you have any work due. Again, you can see recent posts, maybe video links, maybe some materials. And now you can also see the link to that class meet. So if your teacher is doing live lessons for you, this is a really easy way to hop in on those weekly sessions, just right through the link here. Um, you can have the option to drop down the subtitle or keep it hidden, that's up to you. So this is the main panel. But the one that you'll use the most is this one, classwork. So when you click on classwork, you see that there's a lot of options. Um, this top panel, I kind of consider these your tools, right? This is where you can view your work. You can again join that meet. You can go over to your Google Calendar or you can look in your Class Drive folder, right? So this is your, your toolbar. Across the side will be your teacher's topics. Different teachers will arrange this in different ways. It may be by lesson, it may be by date, it may be by topic. Um, so just, you know, make yourself aware of how that teacher is organizing and know that this is where you can access all those assignments. So this page is helpful for, um, oh man, I need to study about Google Meet, right? Or I, I think I didn't quite understand the lesson from last week. You can come and you can just access that pocket of work. But as a day-to-day -day use, I don't think that this is where, where you'll be the most. I think what's gonna help you the most as a student is activating um, from this view your work panel. So this is gonna show you everything that this teacher has assigned you and what your status is on that, that assignment. So I'm not doing too well as a student. I've got four missing assignments, one assigned that's not due, does I have a due date, but I said so that's basically missing. And then I have one that was done late, so I get that nice reminder on there, and it is graded. You can see that the teacher left me a comment, and I uploaded an attachment. So I can see all that here. I can use the filters to show what I've been assigned, what's been returned with a grade, and what is missing. So this will really help keep you organized and on top of your work. So I wouldn't really use that main panel too terribly much, I would use that classwork, do your work. That's going to help you stay the most organized. All right. Um, the other panel is people. This may be um, handy if you're doing a group project with someone. You can shoot them an email just by clicking on the email icon. So as the teacher, especially in e-learning, assigns you a partner, this is where you can easily access that information. So let's learn how to turn, um, turn an assignment in. So I'm going to view my work and let's see formative module one a few details i open it up okay and so i have some options here i can add or create i can mark as done right so in this assignment it's actually sending me to another website so i would go to that website i would do the assignment you see i already did it it's submitted so then I wouldn't attach anything in that case. Um, if I wanted to be sure, I could be, com I could say completed in formative, right? Send the message to my teacher. And then what's really important is I'm gonna mark as done. All right, 
So now I've marked this as done. It will say unsubmit. So if I change my mind, I can unsubmit because I have no work attached, but that's an online assignment. So there's no reason for me to attach work. So then I'm going to come and do this one. All right, view details. So this one I'm going to add or create, or I can make a copy of what the teacher made. So the teacher uploaded a PDF. I'm going to make my own copy. And then from here, I would do the assignment and come back and um, mark it as done. That's really important because sometimes we'll get on these, these PDFs or these, these um, assignments, but we'll forget to come back and mark them as done in Google Classroom and to actually submit. Oh, see, I've never, haven't used this program. If you have Cami, the first time you use it, you just gotta link it up with your Google Classroom. So the teacher assigned this as a Cami assignment and I would be able to annotate this, follow the directions, do what it says, right? And then I would click turn in. Turn in right through the Cami panel. All right, again, it'll give me that unsubmit option. Then I check over here. All right, I'm all turned in. So I've annotated the document the teacher gave me and I have now submitted that document to be graded. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to create your own document for an assignment. So we'll do this one. View details. All right. So even though, so the teacher attached a video here, I would watch the video and then I would create my work. So you have two options. You can create your work through Google Drive, through new or you can create it right through here, which I think is a little bit simpler because it keeps it all linked together. So I'm going to create a slideshow. And look at that. It's going to create this slideshow that's already linked with this assignment right there for me. I could also insert a link. Maybe the teacher you know, asked me to find something online, find a resource online you think is helpful to share with the class. I could click attach the link. I would paste that link in there and that would be part of my assignment. I can do a file from Google Drive. So when I click this, it pulls up my Google Drive. And now it's attaching that file for me. Super easy. So you have lots of options. You can go from Google Drive. You can do a file upload that you made on your computer. You can do a link. You can do any of the Google products right here. And it's going to make it right there for you. When you're done, you've worked on this, you've edited it, you've put all your answers in, you're ready to turn it in. Again, go back to that Google Classroom and hit turn in. If you don't hit turn in, your teacher doesn't see it. So that is really, really important to do. And that's where I think the panel, the classwork, view your work panel is very helpful because this can really keep you on track. So let's talk about the three line roadmap, which is over here. So this is inside one classroom. I see my stream. I went through my classwork. Now I can see the three lines. If you click on classes, you'll see all your classes in one panel. Calendar will link you to your calendar and this will show you what upcoming assignments you have. But I really like the to-do panel. Now mine's going to take a while to load because I have every single class in the school attached to this account. Um, but this is going to show me every single assignment I have across all my classrooms in one panel. So I think that this becomes something very important to check daily. This helps you ensure that you're not missing an assignment, that you didn't forget to turn one in. It's so easy to work on a slideshow or a doc and forget to actually hit turned in. So I can scan down here. I see everything I've been assigned. You can go to a specific class if you want to, but I think this is a great panel for all classes. And then if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I can see my settings. And this is where you could control email alerts. Um, depending on how many classes you're in, the email alerts can get a little, little bit of an overkill. But if you're that student that needs that reminder, it's important to keep them set. So again, mine's taking a while to load. But this is where you would, you would set whether or not you have email alerts. That's all the way at the bottom under settings, the little gear, okay? So that's an overview of Google Classroom and how to use it and how to make sure you're turning things in. So here we go. I have them off, but you can cut them on. Um, so if you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to contact Panda Tech and good luck.